Hi everyone, this is Bethany, BA Crafty Girl, and I wanted to share a haul with you today. I ordered from Uzak.com, and I went over there because uh, someone had said that the Penny Black stamps were on sale, and I'm um, super into the Mimi stamps, so I wanted, just wanted to go see what they had, and I ended up getting something that I said I would never get, but I'm really excited about it. <laughs> so, oops, sorry everybody. So, without further ado, I'll show you what I was not going to get. <laughs> and da -da -da -da! I got a set of Copic markers. I'm so excited. I got a set of Copic sketch and they are the 25th anniversary edition and they're 36 colors. And the only reason I decided to bite the bullet and buy a set of Copics was that these are the limited edition fine nib and super brush nib. So instead of having the chisel end, um, this side has the fine nib, much like um, the Spectrum Noir markers. And from what I understand, the regular square-shaped Copics have this tip. And then the other side has the brush nib. So that is why I decided to go on ahead and pick these up. So I'm super excited. So I have the brush nib and the fine nib. And I've... I've decided I really like both for different things and the um they're so nice and like they're they're written in silver and it's like engraved so it's not gonna rub off they're just really nice and I got a good deal on these I got them for $1.79 I believe but um which is the cheapest I saw them they have them available on Amazon right now as well and so yeah I'm like really excited. They're not new colors. It's just special because it has the brush nib and the fine nib on them. And I got 36 of them, so I'm very excited. And I even tried to find people that um, had done reviews on these or anything. And, I, and not very many people, I guess, have these. So I bit the bullet and got some Copics, and I'm really excited. And... Um, as because I'm having a problem right now with my Spectrum Noir markers drying out and I'm not really sure where to buy the refills for them so I think maybe as my Spectrum Noirs dry out I can maybe start doing the Copics and um, replacing and I because I know you can replace nibs replacing the um, chisel end with a fine tip nib We'll see how that goes. But anyway, I am happy for now. I am I am more than happy. So I have all these and then I have all my Spectrum Noir markers. So I should be good. So that was what I was not going to buy. <laughs> and I'm really excited about it. I did get a Mimi, a Penny Black. And this one is called Teacher's Pet 4216H. So here she is. It's so cute. I like the apple. So there's that one. And then I picked up some other stamps. I have wanted this Lawn Fawn for forever. This Hoppy Halloween. And it is indeed called Hoppy Halloween. And it's Binocula. Did you guys read that story when you were in grade school? Binocula and uh, all the sequels to all the series. I loved those books. And I'm pretty sure that one of the design team girls actually did, like, colored these, like, drained of their orange color. It's, like, awesome. So I picked that up. I think this was on sale for, like, $3. Yeah, I think so. Something like $3. I had my invoice. Where did it go? I don't know. Anyway, I also got this Just Right Clear set. It is called With Sympathy. It's a set of 23 stamps, and I have the oval medallion uh, nestability that cuts this out. So that's 
part of why I got it. The other part of it is it's always nice to have a with sympathy set. So I'm just building up my collection of that and the roses are really pretty as well. And then all these verses can fit inside the frame, which is nice. And they're in also what's nice is, you know, things for the outside and then also things for the inside of a card. So I picked that up. Oh, that gave a lot of shadow. No, son, do not go behind a cloud. Don't do it. And then I got two stamps from a company I had never heard of before, and they have, like, super cute stamps. So, um, it's called, they're called, it's from a company called Little Miss Muffet Stamps, and these are the, this is from the Hatter line. And this one is called Sophia Maria Hatter. And they all have these really big hats on. They're amazing. It's so cute. So there's that one. And the picture on the front, I'm going to say, is a little bigger. Yeah, sample not actual size. Yeah, I'm going to say these are a little bigger than um, the actual stamp. So there's that one. And then I got this one called Melba Flora Hatter. She's like a little flapper girl. Oh my gosh. This totally reminds me of Thoroughly Modern Millie. If you have not seen that movie, you must go see it. It has Julie Andrews in it and Mary Tyler Moore and it's hilarious. So I had to get this one. It's so cute. And there she is. Yeah, the image on the front is a wee bit bigger. But I think on their actual website, littlemissmuffetstamps.com, I think you can get them as digi stamps too if you're into the digi, digi stamp thing. They have other lines of stamps, but I really like the Hatter's line the best. And there's like one that's like a Mad Hatter, and she has a hat on that has like um, these really cool feathers coming out of it. I don't know. It's really cool. I I need to get that one. <laughs> but anyway, that is what I picked up from Muzak.com. They have many, many things on sale slash on special right now. So you should, if you're in the market for some stamps or some Copics or some embellishments, I know they have six by six paper pads, like super cheap right now. Like I think they even have some for like $3 a piece. So if you're in the market for six by six paper, you might want to check them out too. And uh, that's all I have for you. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.